So let's see what we've got here. Over here. So children. Some of you may have children with this person. Um, and maybe that's where some of you, it's, it's where the hurting feelings is. Maybe there's a sense of obligation because of children. Some of you, this is just the immaturity and yep, free yourself. There's a strong energy of wanting to release for a lot of you, but you just don't know what to do. So this could be the one codependency and let your friends help you. So it, this to me, it's a back and forth, right? Here we've got, this could be the one and then there's a codependent energy, but then you want to let things go and you want to free yourself because it's like, is this working out? I just feel a very confused energy here. Um, some of you really need genuine people in your life. Some of you, it's your guidances um, that are, are trying to support you and trying to help you see in this time. But I also I'm hearing be careful with who you take advice from. I'm also hearing that only only choosing people who um I'm gonna wait on that app. All right, let's keep going here. Scorpio and love. So clearly a new beginning here. Spirit is just saying it it's probably best to just go for a new direction and take the risk here for some of you okay so balance things need to be brought into balance um here seven of pentacle patience and plan planning this is about you again i feel i think i've been picking up this energy with you scorpio where you feel like you're not aligned with someone and they're just not on the same they're not trying, um, they don't have the same long-term view as you do, discontent and boredom. I mean, mental conflict, spiritual strength and sacral chakra. So the focus could be very much in the passion, the sex, you know, it's like, oh, well, the sex is great, but then it's like, we can't really plan a future. Um, some of you, the sacral has to do with being with them for a long time and but yet not it's a level of dis disillusioned with who they are so they're not what they what you thought they would be this is really pulling your strings i feel with the nine of wands so let's see what this is give me more of this fool so you just have to make a decision what are you going to go for scorpio two of wands with the knight of cups and I feel either you guys talk about this and apologize and kind of accept that your dreams or what you think you would have, this might be a person who plays small. Also, I'm feeling like a lot at stake with this Knight of Cups. Give me more of this patience and planning. Yeah, so Wheel of Fortune, this is faded. Gotta get out of the confusion, thinking too much, Seven of Pentacles. So this requires time. I don't feel like with the Two of Wands here, I don't think um, someone here is not ready to take the leap, whether it's you or your person, because it's just no one's clear. So someone's here is not ready to take the leap yet, but yet are figuring things out with the Seven of Cups about what your desires are, because Seven of Cups is about illusions and dreams. And like I said, it's almost like, you're not aligned anymore. Something something about not being aligned anymore, which is why there's a disillusion with this Four of Cups. Why the Four of Cups? Eight of Wands, yeah. Like someone plays small, Page of Pentacles. There isn't much forward movement with the Eight of Wands. Communication probably isn't effective. It doesn't go well. I'm hearing they don't get it. Even when you talk or explain, it's like, they don't get it. Okay, more of this Two of Swords. This wants to come up. Yep, Five of Swords. Give me more of this Two of Swords. Empress. You know, again, some of you, this is the mother of your children, mother or father of your children. And so this is where it's conflicting because at the end of the day, you do feel is a lose lose situation. Those who are males, you know, you're going to get hit with child support. 
So, and this person you have to take care of, which comes the codependent energy here where you're the sole, you know, person to take care of everything. And this is where the conflict is because it, it almost feels like a lose-lose situation. That's a very specific message here. Give more on the spiritual strength. Yeah, perspective, the star. It's like the soul is lost. You know, someone feels very limited. It's like you can't expand. You're expanding with your new perspective, the way you see life. You want to elevate, but it's like a burden at the same time. It comes with with guilt. Give me more of the sacral. Five of wands. Yep, ten of cups. This is a long-term commitment for a lot of you. And the family and the guilt of it. And you guys just been together for a long time. It's just one of those things where either you guys grew apart. You know, five of wands, ten of cups, and the hierophant with the sacral. So there's um energetic cord here. There's a, a cord right? This is how you create your soul tie. So there's a, a tie and this is how you create karma too, because once you have kids with people, you're creating a new karmic cycle that now you have to kind of process. So not only are you inheriting this person, this soul tie, you're not, you're not only are you inheriting the karma with the one person, you also inherit the karma with everything or in their life, which is why I feel some of you feel like it's a holdback. Um, this let your friends help you. Uh, I, it could be family and friends. And it's like, I feel judgment. So this is a very tricky situation. I don't feel like there's um, a decision yet. So let's see what the blockage is. Yeah, karmic. Staying is toxic. This was a lesson. Leave. You know, this is, I think this is a blockage. This is where the emotions are. I feel like you've reached a point in your life where you kind of, again, you're just not in alignment anymore. You grew apart. And honestly, that's how karmic, like I said, you're, you're accumulating karma here. Karmic, this is, staying is toxic. You're now going to embark into a cycle, a tie of car more karmic lessons that your soul may not need. And this is a very difficult decision. I'm not saying leave this for you guys have like this. This is where the responsibility and accountability of who you engage in relationships with and have children with is very important. Unfortunately, it's not something you learn until later in your life when circumstances like this happen. But now your soul needs to be responsible um, in the sense of how you're going to go about this. Let's see what the untold message of the heart is. What is the untold message of the heart? So we have energy. You've been thinking about me because I've been thinking about you. We're connecting. There's definitely a lot of thoughts. So this is a lot of energy here for sure. And you both are thinking about the situation. We've got taken. I'm unavailable. And this just means to me, this doesn't have to be that someone's involved. There's another person. I feel that there is an energy of emotionally unavailable, you know, it's just an, like not really present at home. You're the missing puzzle piece that makes me feel that I'm right where I belong. Exactly. You know, it's the struggle because you guys created a home. And that's why I said this could be the one. This is where it's conflicting because how do you let go of someone you've had, you know, a long-term children, you've grown a home, you build a home, but yet you don't feel present emotionally. So you're not available. This is a real big challenge here for somebody here. I feel like there's codependency. I want to look at what the, this is not going to be for everyone, but I want to see what the codependent energy that's, um, interfering with this connection like what needs to be healed 
and this could be you or your person it doesn't matter this is the person who suffers most the codependent energy what else for scorpio okay so we have resentful yep think think loving thoughts for the person or yourself that you resent it's restricting your emotional happiness there is resentful here like that's the energy that i'm feeling that someone's just not emotionally there because they resent that they did not go far in life or that they they feel limited impatient look for patterns of your impatience notice the negative physical symptoms it causes you take deep breaths and slow down yep so there's some impatience uh, i think the energy is growing impatient that's why the energy is strong on both ends probably addictions think about the emotions you're trying to cover up deal with those emotions process heal and release them um these are definitely emotions that need to be processed the reason they become addicting is because sometimes um, we can get stuck with a thought pattern and i feel that's where the dis the the disappointment the disillusion comes from so there's a need to shift on how we perceive what's happened and see this as a lesson and inconsistent think about if your thoughts actions and routines are inconsistent does it serve you well on a daily basis so i think the not being available emotionally for someone here energetically is created a lot of inconsistency resentfulness addiction addicting patterns in terms of um, constantly replaying the frustrations and then the impatience then it triggers the impatience for some of you so this is really not easy to process but it's it's a healing stage is necessary this is feeling stuck also um, it's still a, a transition. So two of wands where there's all there's either it doesn't matter what the route is. There's a risk factor here um, and a purge. All right. So what's the guidance? Oof. Go for it. Action, action, action. Make it happen and take this opportunity that has presented itself to you. The time is now. So. Some of you may just go for it and kind of walk away and, and see yourself and accept it and take, take the hit. You know, you guys, only you know, I'm just empathizing with the situation here because the other side, it can be, if it's a codependent energy, it could, you know, when you're not happy, you're just not happy, right? So let's see what your other guidance is. Scorpio retreat, yep. Take a break to clear your mind and energy, ground yourself. I think this is a needed break to think to contemplate and then whatever you decide then go for it like there is an action that's necessary in order for you to just take that leap with the fool and go for your dreams go for your change go for whatever you think you need you know at the end of the day it's your journey to our souls we all um this next stage in life if this is the route you take to walk away is going to be new lessons and it's uncharted territory and guess what it's not going to be easy as well. It's not, it's sometimes we take the path of least resistance, but sometimes the path with most resistance is just as much lessons and maybe harder. So definitely big decisions here. Scorpio, I love you. Please like, share, subscribe.